Now we are going to see how to draw root 7 on the number line. To draw root 7 on the number line, we will have to repeat the process of how to draw root 5 on number line. Then we will draw root 6 on number line. Then we will get root 7. So root 7 cannot be drawn without root 5 and root 6. So let us start. The same process which we have used to draw root 5 will be repeated again. You are going to draw a segment. Segment you can draw of your choice of any length. So I will draw a segment. This is my number line. What do we call it as? It's a number line. Put arrows on both the sides of the number line. It is important. Now next step after this. What are you going to do? As my screen is not visible fully, I will uh, just adjust it so that you can understand it properly. Yes. Now let's divide the number line into equal segments. I will use some distance in my rounder to divide the number line into equal segments. Okay. So I am using this much distance and it will be same throughout the line. So this is my division of the segments. I have divided the whole number line. Now I can write 0 anywhere. Okay. Since the negative numbers we are not interested in, I can start from here also. We are interested in the positive numbers. To the right side we will have positive numbers. To the left side we will have negative numbers. So here all the positive numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now to draw root 5 on number line, we will have to draw root 5 on the number line. So I will draw a perpendicular on the point 2. Why I am doing that is already explained in the video how to draw root 5 on the number line. If you see the video, I, you will understand why I am drawing the perpendicular on the point 2. Okay? So this is our perpendicular drawn on the point 2. Now what is the next step? We will take one unit distance. One unit means take the distance how much is given in 0 to 1. The same distance you are going to take. Now keep on point 2. Draw an arc. Fine. Now next step after this is you will join this. You will join this from 0 to 1. Like this. Join the lines. Now again I am telling you children I am drawing for root 5. Then only we will be able to draw for root 6. Okay. Now use this as your radius. Keep the pointed end of your rounder on 0. Use this as radius and draw the arc on the number line. Okay. The first one which we got is root 5. Okay. This is our root 5 point. Write down root 5 here. Now next is we have to draw for root 6. So what will I do? I am again going to draw a perpendicular on root 5. To draw root 6. Because root 6 is square root of root 5 ka square plus 1 ka square. So that's why we will use root 5 as the base number. Listen to me carefully why I am drawing it on the root 5. Because we need root 5 square plus 1 square. Okay. Now same process you are going to repeat. Take 1 unit distance. This type of construction is little hard to understand in online classes. That is why I decided I will do it. Okay. Now join this with the center. That is O. To the point O. Or 0. You can take it as 0 also. Is it done? Yes. Perfect. Now next one. We will use the next radius which we have constructed just now. Take this distance and draw the arc. Take this as the distance and draw the arc. Yes. Now this point on the number line is root 6. We got root 6. We got root 5. Now let's draw for root 7. There are many ways of drawing it on the number line. Okay. You will find a number of videos on YouTube. But this one is the simplest one. I can assure you that I can guarantee. Since I am also teaching maths. And I use this method every time I teach my students. Okay. Now this is root 6. I have drawn perpendicular on the point root 6. Now take the distance. Thank you. Take this as your distance. 0 to 1 again you will take. How much you are going to take? 0 to 1. And draw a unit. Okay. See now join this with the center. So how many uh, radius we got? We got 3. We got 3. Yes. Now, use this as your radius, newly constructed radius. Keep it on point O and draw an arc. Do you see it? Where are we getting root 7? This point on the number line shows root 7. Now, this is not enough children. We got the construction. Next is, we will have to name the figure. Okay, let's name it as A, B, C. Upper side I have named as A, B, C. Down I will name it as P, this point as Q, R, S. Okay, so now we have to show using the Pythagoras theorem that root 7, root 7 is root 6 square plus 
वन का स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू रूट सेवन का स्क्वेयर सो दैट मीन्स दिस बेस ओ आर बेस ओ आर का स्क्वेयर प्लस द हाइट दिस यू विल कंसिडर ओके सो रूट सिक्स का स्क्वेयर प्लस वन का स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू रूट सेवन का स्क्वेयर सो यू शुड नो द पाइथागोरस थियरम एंड लिटिल ट्रिक्स हाउ टू डू द कंस्ट्रक्शन इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब